Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. I have a project that I need worked on and Jason was nice enough to volunteer for that. It's my window regulator. I actually had it changed one time before. I went to Williams at to the local auto shop that I go to and he had replaced it. Well, a week later, it stopped working. It was manufactured in China, so it was a China part and it uh, wasn't built well. It just stopped working. So uh, he, I took it back to the mechanic and he took it out. He said, I, I'm not going to charge you for it because I got the part, um, unfortunately. Because um, he said if I wanted to source my own part, I could and he would just install it. So that's what he did. But unfortunately, the part stopped working. And now um, I had him remove it. He didn't charge me to do that, but he said if I wanted to put another one in, he was going to have to charge me for it just because he didn't get the part and I totally understand that but instead of having to pay another hundred and I think it was well actually I think it was only 90 bucks to have it installed so instead of having to pay another 90 bucks Jason said he knew how to do it and he would be glad to do it so um, he's installing it right now and this part cost me a lot more than the one f it was double the amount of what I had paid I think I paid oh, oh fly I paid $79 for the uh, cheaper one and the more expensive one was 157 so yeah almost double but as long as it works, I'm going to be happy, and it lasts. The other one worked, but only for a week, so that does me no good. Anyways, let me show you what he's doing. So since the other mechanic had taken it out, he made it to where I could move the window up and down and had duct taped it, but the duct tape didn't last, so we had to add more duct tape. It's just become a mess, so I'm going to have to take a razor blade and scrape this all off. But I'll be glad when the window's working again. It is the rear window. Jason's getting it installed right now. It's, it's fairly simple, isn't it? Yeah, except for I just ran a screw You're through too right. far and cracked the window. Oops! Oh. Uh, I'm glad you're just kidding. Yeah, me too, because I don't want to have to buy any windows. Well, I was like, wait a minute, because I was like, oh, and then I was like, wait, how'd you do that when the window is way up here? <laughs> you almost had me. Now you actually you keep the screws and stuff from your old one because the new ones don't have earlier, you know. Okay. I don't know if you can see the actuator. Here's some of it right there and it makes the window go up and down. It is automatic. So there was a, what what did you say? Five bolts? Yeah, so not too bad. And then there's some clips to hold the door on that you have to pop up. And I think two screws. Uh, there's two screws here, oh three screws, and one at the door. Why do things have to be so complicated? <laughs> um, he got it in fairly easy, but we're thinking the switch is bad as well. And that might have what made the other one go bad. Because I did have the mechanic test it, and he said that um, it wasn't working, the other motor. So he actually took it out and put it on 12 volt to check. Now this one, they're testing the switch to see if the switch is bad. I might have to replace that as well. Okay, well they tested the switch and it didn't seem to be working. Just to make sure, they took the switch from the other door and they put it in and plugged it in and the window worked. So it is the switch. I think I left the door or the window down and that switch might have gotten wet. So I um, called AutoZone to see what a replacement switch was. They were wanting $45. We checked Amazon and it was 25 bucks. So we're just gonna order it from Amazon. It'll be about a week where if I was needing the switch now, I'd just pay the $45 from AutoZone because they can have it. They need to order it as well, but it'll be in tomorrow. But I'm not in any rush to roll that window down. It is a rear window, so I'm fine. All the other windows work. So we're just going to order the switch off Amazon and we'll install that once it comes in. Oh, who's the baby? <laughs> so now that he was able to get the window rolled up with the other switch, he's getting all that residue off with... Yeah, what is that, goof off? A oh, goof off. I said... There you go, you're goofing off. <laughs> That stuff works really well. It does. Wear gloves, though. 
Yeah, so right. What is it like a um, petroleum based? Like it's like gasoline, right? No, it says it's a removador de residues. I know, but I wonder. <laughs> what does it say? Oh. <laughs> it says what? Don't swallow it. Yeah, don't swallow it. Yeah, that's probably not be a good thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go around swallowing goop off. Oh. Yeah, lots of do nots. I think it is uh, like a gasoline. I made homemade Rice Krispie treats. This is the butterscotch and this is the chocolate chip one. And I've been passing them out. They're so good and gooey. Look who made it. They don't think they can make the turn. Yeah, they can. They can. Here they come. I think they're trying to see if they can make it. They should. It's like 40 feet off the drive. You got it. They made it. Tyrion's got her here. In their big monster RV. The moon. I'm assuming that's Tyrion so Scott with a massively yep, that's him. beautiful rig. Yes, the big country. It's big, all right. Where are they going? Uh, right next to me. Oh. Unless they want space, then they can I pick Unless anywhere. They want space. <laughs> they got a lot of space. <laughs> Well, you gotta do the queen wave. Tabba, Tabba, Hey, y'all! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we don't have room for this here. I know, you're massive. You're you just left Michigan yesterday. I know. That three mile an hour dirt road. <laughs> Get out so I can show you where y'all. Oh my god. Look at that monster. <laughs> Punky! Exactly. Everybody's saying their highs. We just rolled, and you know, the best thing about these was as soon as you get it rolling, that was the thing. As soon as I get it on the highway, and I get it up to 65 miles. Aww. It's like a family reunion. It's the Well, I guess it's getting a little too dark for my sunglasses. Anyways, I'm going to get them parked before it gets too late. It's already starting to get dark and we're losing the light. Yay, I'm excited! And more friends to come. So Terry and I came up to the corner store here. They have a gift shop and a lot of stuff. And we're looking for something for Terry to wear for the costume party. Did you find something? Well, I wanted to get some turquoise. Just a little, you know, cheap little. Right. How much are those? Well, they're not cheap, but I mean, they're eight, uh, nine. I can't see without my glass. I think they're nine dollars on those. Oh yeah, that's not bad. No. Terry. Yeah. Look. I found what um I found Scotty's costume. <laughs> that's really cool. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, I really like that. I love Look at the that. I love this. Yeah. Is that that's a necklace? Beautiful. That is a necklace. Oh my god, I need that necklace. 
Yes. You do. That's real. What is that? How much yeah, is that? Well. How much does it say it is? <gasps> 400 and yeah. what? Oh my god. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous, but no. Oh, look at that knife. Oh yeah, that's pretty too. That's beautiful. Oh, this is just all gorgeous. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at how pretty this is. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that's what's got to go. Oh, that's a cool idea. We have paint them and stone them. I like that. They put, they actually put the corn stuff on them. Oh my god, look at this. Isn't that cool? I love the necklace. I wanted to show you more people that have gotten here. It's been a bit cloudy. It's supposed to rain for the next two days before the weekend. Uh, today's Wednesday, so Wednesday and Thursday it's going to rain. And then it's supposed to be completely clear this whole weekend up to Monday or Tuesday. So that'll be amazing. We should have more friends that are showing up. Uh, let me show you around base camp and all the people who've already showed up. Now that it's brighter out, Tyrion Scott parked by me. And then... We have several people, but let me go ahead and walk around and show you. So down the back road to the property, we have Donnie and Colleen. You can barely see Colleen's rig. It's parked on the other side of Donnie's. And then Jake is parked back there with them. There's his camp over there. Right here we have Rady. And then behind him, obviously, is Jeff, which has been here. Dory is parked behind him. Moo moo! <laughs> I'm trying to have everybody park on the back side of the property here. I don't want anybody up front. Just keep the view clear. And it's much better back here. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't everybody that's here. There are quite a few people here, but not everybody that's here. We have some surprise guests coming. But they won't arrive until the weekend, Friday, when everybody's supposed to get here. There's a closer shot of Dory's rig, then Jennifer and Jason, which have been here. And then we got Butterfly and Joel over there. The tree's kind of blocking it, but right past them is Bob and Deborah. Then to the right of where they are, we've got Donna, Melind, and in the back here, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. That is Dan and Vicky. Yeah, see, it's definitely a overcast day today. I definitely don't want anybody parking on the front and ruining that beautiful view there of the mountains. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, that's everybody that's shown up early and has shown up here this far. Jimmy has moved. He's over at Bruce's property. And also Ellie and Paul are staying with Bruce. And then we have Sue and Ed on their property. Uh, oh, Carolyn is here, RV Rebel Girl. She's parked over on Sue and Ed's. And I think actually Sue and Ed might have a few more people coming as well. It is nice how we're utilizing the back of the property because there's plenty of space back there for people to set up camp and it just keeps the front part of the property looking clean and doesn't look so busy hey scout what are you doing scouty 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 scout. watch 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 bob is doing water runs today most people have already filled up before getting here but the people that have been here longer he's actually doing water runs for because he's got the trailer and the two barrels and i think he's given jason and jennifer some water which is awesome Yay, I'm excited. Jimmy had done the invites this year and uh, he sent e-invites out to our friends. So there's just a few more friends that are supposed to be showing up. I can't wait to see them. Night is rocking, hurt to sleep.